I think hip hop culture is a representation of communities. So wherever you go, like you go here, you go to Pakistan, you go to Russia, and wherever you go and you look for the hip hop culture, it's gonna be an expression of what that environment is going through. Um, and the kids are probably gonna be talking about the topics of what's going on within that environment. So, you know, you might be in the States and be like, yo, this rap stuff's all about bling bling and gangsters and, you know, but go into the environment and talk to these kids and ask them, when's the last time they came and built the school here? When has they put new buildings here? When they had, so the kids stay on a corner and they fantasize about this luxurious lifestyle that we portray because it's an imaginary world of what we wish we had because, um, you know, we can't see past that because they're not really helping the communities and bringing in people to really help change these communities. Yeah, I think there's two forms of imaginary world. There is the imaginary world where, you know, you watch the TV and you think you can get it like that. That's killing the kids. That's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because I was imagining that I was going to play at Madison Square Garden, but I was working in a fast food restaurant. Okay, kids? So that's the truth, which means, like, don't think, like, you see a cat out there and you see the blings in the cars that all of a sudden they just did that, and then you can't get that. You're like, okay, well, let me go and, you know, sell some more of this crack, you know what I'm saying? Because this rapper say he just so crack. Well, the rapper that told you he's so crack, he ain't selling crack no more. And if he does, he's going to jail. You understand? And after he told you he's so crack in the lyrics, he's back in a nice mansion. So you go ahead and want to emulate that, and then you're in jail for 20 years. Think, homie.